Scene one, take three. Okay. My name is Charles Burnett. I'm here visiting Paris, a very lovely city. Um, I have several films in, 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 in the event, in the festival. And uh, so it's been very nice being here. Excellent. Well, I, I discovered that I wanted to be a film very late. I was already in college and, and decided to change majors. And UCLA uh, was one of the schools that, that offered a program in film, and SC was the other one. But the cost was so expensive. I mean, to go to SC was really expensive. UCLA was really inexpensive. It was like $25 a quarter. And so anybody could go, basically, you know. And so it had a really a, a, a great atmosphere because there were a lot of working class people going there and, on, and, a, and a really nice mix of uh, real people, you might say. And when I first went there, it was in the 60s, and there wasn't that many people of color there. And so you're, you're sort of isolated. And, and you had Hollywood was, you know, right around the corner, so it had a big impact on, on USC, but not necessarily on, on SC, I mean, uh, US, I mean UCLA, because there was a sort of anti-Hollywood kind of attitude there. And, and so it um, uh, encouraged you to make personal films, your own films, you know. But now, you know, it just, you know, students, you know, it's just can't afford. I mean, you go there and hurt, you, you, you want to go there quickly because it costs you so much. And by the time you get out, you may be two, three hundred thousand dollars in debt. And, and the students have changed now. You know, the, 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 the more, you know, people with money can go to the film schools now. And there's different kinds of class and different people there. Yeah. Unlike, uh, you know, when we were there in the 60s where you had, it was really wonderful because you had this diverse group of people, different ages and different experiences going there. And we learned from that. We benefit from that. You are not a child anymore. You soon will be a goddamn man. Now, you start learning what life is about now, son. I mean, the animal has his teeth, and the man has his fists. That's the way I was brought up, goddamn me. Right on. I mean, when a man's got scars in his mug from dealing with some of the bitches every day for his natural life, ain't nobody gonna run over this nigga. Just dry long soap. I mean, smoke here. We take an eye issue. You be a man if you can, Stan. When I did kill a, a sheep, I uh, deliberately wanted to make it look like a documentary. And I didn't want to do a lot of things that, um, you know, you would do in a, a regular fictional piece, you know, in, in terms of production, in terms of, you know, how you shoot things uh, and how you, how you edit and light, you know, like having, you know, getting reaction shots and backlits and backlights and things like that, you know. Um, you know, doing like a master, master close-ups and all this kind of stuff. I just wanted, you know, like a documentary, you, you come in, you put the camera up and you try to get what you can and a lot of times, most of the times you can't do all these angles and things like that. But the whole idea was taking all these different genres or whatever it is to tell the story of the black experience. You know, it can be a, a comedy, a short, whatever it is, but the thing is, is, it wasn't to exploit the people, but to say something that was unique and re relevant to understand, for you to understand who we are as people. I was involved in film and social change, and there was this um, notion that um, you know you couldn't get the truth from you know films that looked like Hollywood films. You know we were always suspicious of that because of the fact that they distorted so many. I mean, uh, who we are as people. You know, and continue to to, uh, to do so. So you know, a lot of us were were arguing against those kinds of films. You know, on one hand, but you find that I mean, documentary is one way of telling the story, but y you you have all these other uh, ways of telling this story. Well, I was under the illusion. I mean, we were uh, th thinking that, you know, we wanted to make films that were going to change people's lives. And Hollywood wasn't concerned about it. And that's so we were ready to make this sacrifice. You know, we were going to scrounge around and do this. But, you know, and that sounds very nice when you're young, you know, and, 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 and think that the world has all these opportunities, you know. And as you get out there, you find. You know, no one really interested in what you want to say or do, you know, and sometimes, you know. And so, 
you have to sort of, you know, fight to get those stories told, you know, and, and it's not always pleasant, you know. Uh, 